guys, welcome back to another episode of Corpse Party Origins, Did You Ever Know Slash Notice? Well, guys, uh, another mini episode, um, Sachiko's obsession with eyes and tongues. Well, guys, Sachiko, if you guys don't know if you guys knew this or even know this, but Sachiko, of course, died on July the 19th. 1953. That's when this little girl's life came to an end and after witnessing a horrible tragedy only a few moments before him losing the one person that was absolutely precious to her. Her mother. She just witnessed her mother being pushed down the stairs or and even then being six years old she probably couldn't even comprehend what she'd just seen. To her it might have just looked like her mother fell backwards. How was she to know? The principal suddenly gives chase, frightening her. We're not even sure if Sachiko really did witness the murder of her mother. All we know is that the principal starts chasing this poor little girl all across the school. Making her absolutely terrified. And we can only imagine how scared she must have been at the time. She must have been exhausted when the principal finally caught her and strangled her. Poor little thing. Now, we know that Sachiko, after she dies, the m mother, of course, places a curse on the family. She says, I envy the hiss of child, and she comes up with a curse, like, you will go crazy, and insanity, and all this stuff. Well, of course, the family does eventually go crazy, but sometime between nine, the 19th of July, the day that Sachiko died, Sometime in August, the following month, before September the 18th, I believe the kids were dead, the, the four children, the events of the four children takes place in September. But during the time between July and September, the principal must have at some point gone down to the basement to where Sachiko's corpse was, where he'd hidden her, though so this varies in the manga because she's hidden outside in the bunker. And in the anime, she's found, like, in a shed place. It varies. Um, he must have gone down to her and violated her body with a pair of scissors. He stabs her multiple times with a pair of scissors before cutting out her tongue. Now, we know that Sachiko doesn't have her eyes poked out like the kitty does. But Sachiko, of course, has lost everything precious to her, but it is during this moment in August that the existence of the other Sachiko happens. The red Sachiko in the dress comes into existence. The darker side, the malice has finally started to corrupt and has taken form. It only happens after he starts stabbing the body repeatedly. I believe there's still some blood left in Sachiko's corpse, though the blood tension run, but they didn't think of that fully at the time. But after her tongue gets cut out, obviously Sachiko starts to develop this strange obsession with doing the same thing to everybody else. And she makes Yoshi Kazu collect the tongues. And I'm the eyeballs, but they're all various colors, obviously, because nobody's got the two of the same eye color and everything. What they do with them, we're not even sure what they do with them. They just seem to collect them. Everybody is tagged once you die to keep a record of when you guys die and your name. So there'll be some kind of reminder. We know there's a mention of a custodian as well, so... But yes, I don't, it's never fully explained. You have to like watch all the different things before you finally work out how all this comes about. I still have no clue what she does with the eyeballs. We still don't even know what the principal did with her tongue. But there we go. I think we do eventually get to work out where it is though. Have you noticed as well that the kitty cat soft toy has a tongue? I don't need to tell you anymore what became of the tongue of the cat. But yeah. Who is 
really to blame for everything that happened. If you think about it, Sachiko really isn't to blame. Sachiko probably wouldn't even got the idea of cutting out people's tongue if it hadn't been for the headmaster. He should have stopped and thought about what he did, in my opinion. He's actually the real villain here. Sachiko will always be the victim in this. And unfortunately, the malice that happened in the school corrupts this little girl. It makes sense. At the end of the day, this tragedy could have been avoided. You know, so much suffering comes out of this one act. Anyway, that is a look at Sajiko's eyes and tongues. See you guys in the next